It's a very thrilling sight here at the Municipal Auditorium. Tonight, the season opens with a gala charity performance of Puccini's La Boheme. The house lights dim as the maestro takes his place on the podium. I see Mrs. Lucille Carter, the charwoman of the Cultural Committee, coming down the aisle. All eyes are on her as she picks her seat. And if you answer this question, you'll be richer by $25. I'll name five parts of the body beginning with the letter B. A brain? Bones, blood, uh, balls. <laughs> uh, I, I mean eyeballs. Before our next recorded selection, here is our daily birth announcement from the municipal hospital. Last night at the hospital, 42 babies were born. And now, don't blame me. A remote is a broadcast that originates away from the station. On this annual Christmas show, children waited to hear a remote from Santa's studio at the North Pole. Let's listen in. And now, children, as part of our annual Christmas party, Uncle John is going to contact Santa Claus. Thank you, Miss Christmas. We'll try it now. How are you standing by, North Pole? Come in, North Pole. Come in, North Pole. Come in, North Pole. That's Santa Claus. <laughs> That's his cue. I wonder why we can't get it. I <laughs> Maybe we should try it once more. Come, Come in, Santa Claus. <laughs> Come in, North Pole. Have I got a line? Have I got a line? <laughs> I wonder Where? why we can't get to it. Where are you, Santa Claus? Santa Claus, where are you? We take you now to a special broadcast from the deck of the USS United States. This incident occurred while the ship was under construction. This show comes to you from the USS United States. This ship is being built mostly from aluminum. As a matter of fact, the only wood on it is said to be the piano and the block in the kitchen that the butcher beats his thing on. A novice announcer on a religious program was getting frantic signals from the engineer that time was running out. And I say unto you, if you do not love thy neighbor, there can be no peace in the mind. There can be no greeting of the sun each day without discontent in your heart. There can be no... Amen. This is the CBS Radio Network. No... What the final results will be, we do not know at this time. We do know that Mr. Dulles has returned from Geneva with high hopes. This report of the conference has come to us from reliable White Horse houses. Here's another incident from one of the popular quiz programs heard by millions. Now, before we get to your next question, let me ask you a few questions. You are nervous, are you? A little. What are you nervous about? I don't know. <laughs> Listen, let me talk about your family for a second. How many brothers you got? Seven. Seven brothers? Uh -huh. How many sisters? I've got seven sisters, too. Seven brothers and seven sisters? Mm -hmm. Gee, what a family. You said you were married, didn't you? Yeah. How many children do you have? One. Only one? Give me a chance. I've only been married a month. Here's an excerpt from an interview with a famous explorer. Well, it's not always dangerous chasing animals. Sometimes it's just plain fun. Especially on our last trip. Why don't you come along sometime? I'd like to. It must be a lot of fun trapping wild animals. Especially the rare ones. Yes, uh, for example, chasing wild ass in Borneo. It looks like the White House intervention has been successful. The coal miners won't go out on strike after all. It's good news to all of us that in the cold of winter, John L. Lewis has dropped his union suit. This is KABR, Aberdeen, South Dakota, operating on a frequency of 1,430 kilocycles with 100 pots of wower. Now, here again is that current kid of the day. Cherry pink and apple blossom white. Stop in and see this new appliance at your neighborhood Vim store. Remember, you can be sure if it's a Westinghouse laundromat. This is the CBS Radio Wetwork. Did I say Wetwork? And tomorrow at 5 on Channel 7, Happy Long Cassidy will be here to wish you a happy new year. Here's an interview with a noted Hollywood fashion authority. With your experience in the lingerie line, would you say that the lines this year are more severe? 
<laughs> well, no, not really. You've seen a, more or less of a, a reversion to the Victorian period with the crinolines and the petticoats. Yes. And, uh, but foundation garments haven't changed. Really? No, not at all. You women are wearing the same thing in brassieres this year. Sports announcers are human. Sometimes even they can be carried away by the excitement of the moment. Clock shows 28 seconds to go. There's a snap back to the center. Looks like a pass. It is a pass. Center accepted by Okrowski, number 22. He's up to the chance of the 20 to the 30. He passed the middle. You'll hear about these wonderful hostess cakes during the curse of the next commercial. We promise you the most exciting trip of your life. Just imagine those perfect days under bright skies on white coral sand. This is the best time of the year for a perfect vacation. So remember, when you fly to Bermuda, be sure to take a plane. A television salesman was demonstrating a new do-it-yourself airplane kit for youngsters. Well, now, you can have this model plane all for yourself. And it's a lot of fun. You just take this kit and it comes completely set up for you. All the parts are ready to put together. You take the parts and you, well now you, well this section here is, well, it, well just a minute now, it must be a little stiff, but you are, <laughs> this is a very educational toy. It teaches children how to cut. An open microphone can be dangerous. Let's tune in on a local high school amateur hour. Here's another time check, 7.35 a.m. And while your coffee's brewing, let's take a continuing look at the news. In the Asia area, today more heavy farting reported on the China front. The unpredictable ad lib has given more than one announcer gray hair, as this man on the street program interview announcer learned. Here we are with our man-on-the-street microphone at the corner of 7th and Market Street. So we're about to have another one of our daily programs interviewing the questioning folks from in and around our area. First of all, let's see. Let's find an interviewee here. Uh, here's a charming young lady. Would you like to talk to us today? Hell no! Weather forecast programs very often originate from airports, with weather personnel doubling as announcers. Their inexperience and lack of suitable studio facilities sometimes produce unexpected results. Good afternoon. The agricultural bulletin for northwestern South Carolina today through Wednesday is for temperatures to average about 5 degrees above the normal of 76. Hold it a minute, will you, down there? Hey, you hold it a minute while I make my broadcast. Okay, let's start over, boy. Uh, <clears throat> Good afternoon. The agricultural bulletin for northwestern South Carolina today through Wednesday is for temperatures to average about five degrees above the normal for the period of 76. Hey, you hold a minute. Continued warm weather expected. Our low temperature this morning was 70 after yesterday's high of 93. Now back to your studio. Okay, boys. One away. Well, sorry, folks. We won't be able to spin the rest of that one for you. We seem to be having a little bit of uh, turntable trouble. That record seems to have been broken. That was... Uh, my old flame with a crackener. The practical joker is found everywhere, even in the radio and television industry, as this announcer found out on the first day of April. And the bill goes to Washington next week for the president's signature. Uh, here's a bulletin just handed me from the wires of the Associated Press. Washington, D.C. The White House has just announced that it's counting on all of us to make our victory gardens a success this year. New developments and fertilizers ensure a bumper crop for everyone. Let's get those tomatoes and cucumbers underway. Be sure to have a good supply of humus on hand. Your victory garden is your share of... Say, what the hell is this? <laughs> April Fool! An engineer was responsible for this blooper. 
he accidentally threw a switch that cut off the local program and substituted the current network show. It's time now, ladies and gentlemen, for our featured guest, the prominent author, lecturer, and social leader, Mrs. Elwood Dodge, who is able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Well, it looks like the end of the cold spell springs to be... Uh... Well, it looks like the end of the cold spell spring seems to be on its way. Residents of this area will find relief in the warm mass headed this way. A warm mass of air headed this way. There's excitement in store in our million dollar movie tonight with Ann Sheridan. Stay tuned as Phillips Milk of Magnesia brings you Woman on the Run. The fabulous Davy Crockett fad was climaxed with this announcement. Calling all parents, calling all kids, here's your chance to buy a Davy Crockett bed. Yes, friends, Hunt's Furniture Store has Davy Crockett bed. It's a twin-size bed, just right for the kids, with themes of Davy Crockett in action on the mattress. And so we conclude another in the Pardon My Blooper series of classic radio and television boners. Additional albums in this series will be released soon. Until we meet then, this is your narrator leaving you with the words of Alexander Pope, who said, To err is human, to forgive, divine. <laughs>